Good morning. I am Mama Ranvaka from the Department of Electrical Engineering. Our final year design project was development of an automated demand response system for large facilities. First, let's look at the background of our project. Balancing the supply and demand is very important for any power system. This can be done by either supply side management measures or demand side management measures. In fact, demand response is a subset within the broad spectrum of demand side management. Demand response is any program which modifies the time pattern, magnitude or both in the demand profile of end consumers motivated by an incentive or a price signal. So throughout the years, demand response have been evolved from manual and semi-automated systems to fully automated systems. Let's look at the factors which motivated us to select this project. So the main reason which motivated us to select this project is the dispatching of expensive thermal power plants during the peak demand periods, which has imposed a significant financial burden on the Sri Lankan power system. And also we have identified that the majority of consumers in Sri Lanka consume electricity in suboptimal and inefficient manners. There are some other factors which motivated us to pursue this project such as detrimental environmental effects and renewable energy integration in smart grids. So, owing to all these issues mentioned in the previous slide, it is clear that depending entirely on supply side management is not prudent for balancing the supply and demand in the Sri Lankan power system. So, in our project, we try to introduce the concept of demand response as a demand side management measure which will be a solution to mitigate these issues while providing mutual benefits to the utility organization as well as electricity consumers. So now let's quickly look at the scope of our project. We limited our project to an automated demand response system for large facilities and also we decided on a suitable demand response scheme for this system. The most important aspect of our project was the uh, development of an automated demand response algorithm and implementing that al algorithm using a software platform. Now let's go through our objectives. Our primary objective was to design and develop an automated demand response system for large facilities in order to cater the peak demand in a more economical manner than dispatching expensive thermal power plants. So now let's look at a summary of our literature review. So this table summarizes the results of our literature review which was performed under three main sections. So uh, the first section is deciding on a suitable DR scheme and the second section was estimating baseline and variance of consumption and the final and the most pivotal section of the literature review is optimization algorithms and frameworks. Now I will explain briefly how we selected a suitable demand response scheme for this project. From the literature review, we identified that there are different time-based or price-based and incentive-based demand response schemes. After studying the features of these demand response schemes, we prepared a scoring system and allocated marks for each of the demand response schemes based on these criteria mentioned in this table. So, according to this comparative study, we identified that the IC or Interruptible Curtailable Load Program is the most suitable demand response scheme for this project. Now, let me introduce you to the system model of this project. So, there are three main components in our system and the first component is energy suppliers and the power system operator. Here we have developed a hypothetical miniature model to reflect the actual hydrothermal mixed power system in Sri Lanka. And also we have incorporated a power system operator who performs the operational and control activities carried out by the National System Control Center. So these are the details of the 14 power plants we included in the supply side model of this system. The second component of our system is automated demand response resources or simply energy consumers. So in this system, bulk consumers in the categories of industrial and general purpose are participating as large facilities. And to re represent the characteristics of the demand side, we developed another hypothetical model consisting of 10 consumer facilities. 
most importantly to develop site characteristics operating information and demand profiles of these facilities we refer to actual real world operations of similar facilities in sri lanka the most important and the final component of this system is the adr system operator this is the communication and control intermediary between the power system operator and the adr resources and also it serves as the central controller of this system so from this diagram you can get an idea about how each component functions during an adr event if i may summarize this process first the power system operator will prepare and uh, communicate hourly ahead merit order dispatch schedules to the adr system operator then the energy information systems of the adr facilities will communicate data on available loads for adr events in the next hour and then th at the third step adr system operator will run its algorithm and uh, determine whether or not to execute an adr event for the upcoming hour and if it is decided that an adr event must be executed for the next hour the adjusted amounts of energy to be dispatched from power plants will be communicated back to the power system operator by the adr system operator and then the optimum adr schedules for the next hour will be communicated to the energy management and control systems of the adr facilities finally the load shedding will take place according to these optimum schedules now let's go through the most prominent aspect of our project the adr algorithm So this algorithm consists of three levels and we assume that this algorithm runs iteratively on an hourly ahead basis. This means the optimum ADR schedule for the next hour will be computed and communicated during the current hour. So at the first level of the algorithm we decided whether to execute an ADR event using the optimum merit order dispatch schedule prepared by the power system operator. and to take this decision we compared relevant costs for this decision which are hourly marginal costs of power plants and the incentives payable to energy consumers for their demand reductions in addition to these decisions the first level of the adr algorithm uh, at the first level of the adr algorithm we obtained the total demand reduction needed from the adr resources and we modified the amounts of energy to be dispatched from the power plants because now a portion from the uh, total energy demand will be uh, catered by the adr system this is the flow chart we prepared for the first level of the algorithm and at the second level of the algorithm uh, we decided the optimum adr plan in the facility level so basically here uh, we decided which amounts of demand reductions are required from each of the adr facilities so here we made some crucial assumptions uh, so we assume that each adr facility is committed to participate in an adr event as per the conditions included in their adr contract also they are committed to communicate information on loads available for demand curtailment to the adr system operator who runs the adr algorithm and this is the optimization problem we solved at the second level of the adr algorithm which is a mixed integer nonlinear programming optimization problem here we try to calculate the optimum demand reductions for each consumer facility in such a manner where the sum of utility of all consumers is maximized this utility is actually a function of the electricity consumption of a specific consumer and it represents the benefit enjoyed by them by consuming a particular amount of electricity denoted by this qit term here and by maximizing the utility we are ensuring that the discomfort caused to the consumers is minimized when they are ordered to deviate from their average or the baseline consumption so we solved this problem in matlab subjected to these constraints the third and the final level of the algorithm is determining the optimum adr plan in the equipment level so here we introduced a customized variation of the knapsack problem to decide which individual loads or appliances or equipment will be participating for the adr event in each facility and also we incorporated an error handling component at this level to minimize the final error now let's quickly look at the results and analysis to obtain results we developed a desktop application as shown here using the matlab app designer 
We analyze results in two different manners. First, we obtain results for different time intervals of the same day. And here you can see how the decision to deploy ADR event was taken for four different time intervals within a day. And here you can see the modified generation schedule for the three time intervals when ADR events took place. Uh, so this is for the morning peak, uh, day peak and in this slide you can see the result for the night peak. And here you may see how the previously planned dispatching of expensive gas turbine and uh, diesel engine power plants had been replaced by our ADR system. So here you can see the results for level 2 and 3 of the algorithm for the morning peak and the day peak. And this is for the night peak. And here you can see how the total demand reduction had been allocated among the 10 facilities in an optimum manner for the night peak. So this table summarizes the previously shown results and this error percentage is actually the difference between the optimum demand reduction prescribed by the first and second levels of the demand reduction algorithm and the actual demand reduction realized after executing the third level, level or the equipment level of the algorithm. So you can see how we have minimized the error percentage for the three time intervals when ADR events took place. And uh, as for the second part of our results, we analyze four scenarios at the same time interval as shown in this diagram. So uh, two scenarios are from thermal maximize seasons and the other two are from hydro maximize seasons. And in two scenarios, uh, two of the ADR facilities are absent from this program. So this table summarizes the results for all four scenarios and you can see that we could minimize the final error up to a negligible level for all four scenarios after error handling. And also we analyzed about the economic benefits of this system uh, by calculating the generation cost saving. Finally, we can look at the conclusions and future work. So from our results, it was clear that we could achieve a considerable cost saving in thermal maximize scenarios, which accounts uh, approximately to 35% and a moderate saving in hydro maximize scenarios. And when it comes to the error between the prescribed demand reduction by level 1 and 2 of the algorithm and the actual demand reduction obtained by level 3 of the algorithm, we minimize that to a negligible level less than or equal to 2% and this uh, very small difference of active power can be easily catered through fast responding swinging reserves. So we can conclude that this, is, uh, this approach for automated demand response is fairly accurate. As future works, we propose that a pilot project must be implemented to, uh, as an automated demand response system, uh, but also it must be streamlined with, with the operations of the National System Control Center. So these are the references we used in this project and thank you for listening.